Okay, we're going to be talking about the elevator. The elevator is a maneuver that isn't done a lot, and it's really kind of an interesting maneuver that a lot of people just don't even know about. It starts from a pretty high altitude. You have to go up quite a bit to get this maneuver to, to work right, especially when you're learning because it'll take you longer to get set. What you're going to do is you're going to be flying, chop your power back all the way, and start feeding in some up elevator to slow the airplane down. Now what's going to happen is right here the airplane's going to want to start spinning on you. But if you can keep the wings level and using your rudder to get the airplane straight, you can see that what, what basically happens is you get the airplane to fall pretty much vertically towards the ground. It's moving forward a little bit because the engine's still idling and pulling it forward. But you can see that very kind of like almost like a parachute. It's just gliding towards the ground. And it is moving pretty quick. Uh, you can see I didn't really catch it in time there. But what happens is the airplane's wings act like big flat boards and kind of act like a lot of surface area and slow the airplane down, keep it falling very, very slowly. Now what you can do to even s slow this down even more is to add just a little bit of throttle to pull the, the nose up on the airplane to flatten those wings out even more. You can see that as the airplane falls, it's not really moving forward. It's just pretty much falling on a straight path down towards the ground. And this is a fairly popular maneuver, especially um, as, a, as an ending maneuver coming in towards a landing or near the end of a freestyle routine. Um, you know, just a nice slow music, right? As you come down, you can have a nice slow descent almost vertically and then right before you hit the ground, give it a little power to straighten out and you could come in for a nice landing. Um, I've seen it done not too much in competition because it actually isn't all that difficult of a maneuver. Um, but uh, the other, uh, of course, variation to it is is an uh, inverted wall. So you're doing the exact same thing again using down elevator and the airplane's falling almost vertically down, upside down. So two variations of it. Again, when you're up in the air, you can put your own spin on it as much as you like, no pun intended. Um, you can try to, to spin the airplane a little bit as it comes down so it's nice and flat. Try to get away from the sun here. And uh, you're going to, you know, again, add your up elevator, up elevator, up elevator, more and more and more till it starts to go. And now you're in your elevator, so you can add a little left rudder um, and, you know, have the airplane slowly spin as it's falling. You know, you can see there you got it spinning slowly towards the ground, stop it, maybe go the other way, um, and just change it up as much as you like. And uh, the way to get out of this one is just start, start adding power and reduce elevator. Now, this maneuver is one of those maneuvers that you have to be completely comfortable with your engine, um, especially at the lower altitudes. If your engine were to die, um, I'm going to shut it off here. But if your engine were to die and you're doing one of these, say your engine quit right now, you really have no options uh, to get out of it. Your airplane is, is falling vertically. You don't have enough time to push the nose down of the airplane um, and then, and then uh, to get some airspeed to land. Because it's falling vertically, you really have to make sure that that airplane is running well. And because you're not up at a good power setting, like in a hover, um, you really have to make sure that your idle is set very well. If your idle is, is rough at all, don't try this maneuver. Um, especially down low, um, but I wouldn't try it at all if, if your idle's not set right. Um, because if you have a problem or your engine quits during this maneuver as it gets towards the bottom, you've got pretty much no way of saving it um, just because it's going to come down. If your engine quits now, there's nothing you can really do. It's just going to fall bang onto the ground. And the simulator, you know, the models stay together a lot easier than they do in real life. So keep practicing it. Uh, just remember to keep your wings level in it um, and uh, go from there and uh, have fun.